because if you can't let it go, the only person that it's really hurting is you. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm a mess. My boyfriend and I have actually just landed our first job together, which is so cool. And I'm really excited for you guys to see the shots because they came out amazing. There's been some big changes. I'm moving in like four days. Why does no one tell you that being adult is so hard? Hopefully me sharing kind of my struggles and being a bit more vulnerable can help. He said that you might be able to help me move from London to Manchester next week. <laughs> right, now that's when I can carry on talking. Basically, I'm super excited to be announcing that I'm going to be a part of Sky Cinema Club, which means I get... Morning. Morning. Did you have a nice sleep in my bed? Hmm? Hmm? I got work to do. 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 <laughs> what is that face? What is that face? I know. I know. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Good girl. Oh, she's sleepy. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Good morning, guys. How are you? I wanted to come on and say Happy New Year since I haven't really spoken to you since Vlogmas, which... Let's, we're not going to talk about that. I really tried, but the logistics were just making things impossible. Everything's been a whole ordeal since Vlogmas. There's been some big changes. There's another big change coming in like a few days. So things are going to be looking really different around here. And when I say around here, I don't mean around here literally, but just on the vlog channel. I'm not going to be here anymore. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd catch you guys up a little bit whilst I laminate my brows. Also got a spot on my lip. I don't know how that happens but there's been a lot of huge changes a lot of like emotions flying around oh the battery's gonna die i know i said i want to be like a lot more vulnerable with you guys and i definitely want to stick to that hopefully me sharing kind of my struggles and being a bit more vulnerable can help some of you guys that are going through similar situations or a different situation but are feeling similar kind of emotions and feeling like you're stuck there and you don't know how you're gonna get out of it, or if you ever are. Promise you will. <laughs> so since Vlogmas, I had a break, a much needed break, but at the same time I didn't know what to do with myself, it was kind of stressful. My dad has now gone back to Jamaica. That was kind of weird as well. There's a lot of context to that that you guys don't know about, and I don't think I'm gonna go into depth, but it was, I didn't realize how much of a toll that whole situation was really taking on me, how much of an effect it had actually had on me. It's really hard to talk about, but I will definitely address it, kind of. I'll try to address it somewhat in the next few vlogs, but for now, I literally don't have time. I'm moving in like four days. I haven't even arranged removals yet. I had to scramble to find a new flat, and I also, in the midst of everything, got COVID, so that put everything on hold for a bit. So everything's been kind of stressful. I had to push work back, so I've been rushing to do that. And yeah, it's just been an absolute madness. Like I can't even begin to tell you guys. Like why does no one tell you that being adult is so hard? <laughs> Especially when you're the type of adult that tries to do right by everyone and kind of neglects your own life and health in the process. My head is a jungle. <laughs> Um, so basically today, I'm just getting myself ready. Wait, I didn't even address the fact that there was a dog in my bed this morning. So I was looking after my girl's new puppy. She's a rescue. Her name's Peppa and she is the most beautiful, sweet little girl ever. So she asked if I could take care of her and like, obviously I'm going to. And yeah, we had a little sleepover. I'd really missed having a little pooch around the house. It was such a nice energy to have, especially because I'm alone here now and my dog passed away almost a year ago now. But Helena's come to get her now and my boyfriend is on his way. We've got a campaign to shoot. But yeah, I'm just stressed. I haven't packed anything. I don't even have packing boxes. <laughs> Guys, just wow. So yeah, we're shooting a really cool campaign today and that is why I am laminating my brows because I just thought I want to look and feel my best for this. But 
later on i'm actually going to take a second to just chill out because i feel like i haven't had a moment i think we're going to kick back have a little takeaway and we're going to watch a movie excitingly i'm actually working with sky on this video and i can't believe that this is even a thing right now that's when i can carry on talking basically i'm super excited to be announcing that i'm going to be part of sky cinema club which means i get early access to sky cinema films to be able to watch and review so every month i'll be coming to you guys with recommendations there's going to be so many amazing Amazing films coming to Sky Cinema this year including like massive blockbusters like Dune, the Top Gun sequel but then there's also going to be the Sky original films which you can only watch on Sky TV. What's really cool as well is they have one original film coming out every week so there's always going to be something new to watch, something new to be inspired by and tonight I've chosen a movie called Mass. It looks really interesting. I feel like I'm going to need a tissue box, I'm not going to lie but I feel like some of it might resonate with me. I feel like it might help me like process some stuff that I've been going through so yeah I'm really excited to have a sit down and watch that later but for now I'm carrying with my brows I hope you guys have been well I hope that your year has been going amazing so far <laughs> less stressful than mine oh my god it's also my mum's birthday next week in like three days and it would have also been Pierre's birthday who was my dog that passed away they shared the same birthday which is just <sighs> he was my soulmate man <clears throat> Hiya, is this Jordan? Yes, yeah, me. Hiya, um, I'm just calling. I I got your number off of Jacob from Lock and Store. He recommended oh, yeah. you guys. Um, yeah. How are you? I'm all right, how are good. you? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he said that you might be able to help me move from London to Manchester next week. Yes, yeah. Um, I just wanted to f have a chat with you and like figure out pricing and stuff and if that would be possible. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hey guys. So, it's been a busy day. Ended up shooting a load of content. My boyfriend and I have actually just landed our first job together, which is so cool. And I'm really excited for you guys to see the shots because they came out amazing. He's like a jack of all trades. Model, photographer, etc, etc. So, obviously they've just come out <laughs> incredible. Oh, he also helped me shoot some shots for Naked Wolf. I mean, we all know that I love boots. We all know it. Right? We all know it. It's been years. I've been buying Dr. Martins for years. Just big chunky boats, yeah? We've now got a minute to sit down, have some food. We've ordered pho, which I'm so excited about. And we're going to now sit down and watch a movie. As I mentioned earlier, I'm part of the Sky Cinema Club. And there's a movie that's really tickled, tickled my fancy. It's really taken my interest. I'm super excited to watch it and give you guys my thoughts on it. If you guys are able to watch it, definitely watch along with me so that we can chat about it in the comments later. But for now, I'm going to grab a tissue box, grab my food, and enjoy this cinema experience from the comfort of my own home. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm a mess. Brows be browing though. I forgot to show you guys earlier. I think I'm gonna need like a minute to process. I'm gonna have a shower, I'm gonna have a sleep, and then I will catch you up on my thoughts and feelings in the morning because there's a lot to, to take in and like dissect with it. All right guys, let's talk about this movie. I wrote like a whole load of notes on my phone because it was just, it was definitely like very thought provoking and emotion provoking. Not even in the sense of like being upset, but just the actors first of all were so incredible that you really felt like this situation was real and you were just a fly on the wall watching this conversation. And basically what the movie's about is two sets of parents meeting up years later after an unbelievable tragedy that happened with their kids. They've like agreed to talk in private, kind of in a, an attempt to move forward from said tragedy. But yeah, the movie was so like raw and hard hitting. I feel like a lot of the time with films, it kind of gives you what you want. They kind of fluff about situations, but this was like straight to the point, very real, no kind of easy endings or softening of like a, a hard situation. Even down to the way it was like directed and stuff, the whole movie was in one setting and it was just mainly dialogue there was hardly any music until the end so even just like the rawness of the silence was like <gasps> i don't know it, it was encapsulating but yeah i think i took quite a lot from it I, and not to compare my situation at all but just in terms of like understanding like anger grief acceptance and like trying to learn how to move on 
without always getting the answer that you want from someone or something or a certain situation sometimes you don't get closure you kind of have to have the willingness to kind of accept and understand things the way they are the way they've been presented to you and not like drive yourself crazy trying to make sense of things because i think that's the thing with life things just happen and you can't always make sense of them and you can drive yourself crazy trying to look for answers or you can accept and understand the situation try to process it as best as you can and move on and focus on yourself and your future i definitely feel like this movie has encouraged me even more so to to get therapy it's definitely emphasized like the importance of therapy um and like raw honest open communication and even forgiveness like even if you can't understand maybe why someone's done something to you or why something bad has happened to you there's a there's a really big importance in being able to let it go because if you can't let it go the only person that it's really hurting is you just holding on to like bitterness and stuff it's like you're poisoning yourself so yeah i think just trying to understand another point of view or why something can happen without like not taking the answers for what they are if that makes sense like even the most difficult parts to accept you have to just accept them there's nothing that like you can't change things the only thing you can do is change like your perspective on something take that and use it to your advantage in a way and learn from it and i think what i'm starting to understand is that's the only way that you can start to heal is to accept what's happened take what you can from it and then you've got to let it go and that's what i've had to do i think with a lot of a lot of things in my life so this movie was like whew, yeah it was super hard hitting but i think it was something that i needed to see even though you don't actually see anything you don't see anything about the tragedy there's no that like, you don't see any of that it's literally just conversation it's very intense but yeah that's <laughs> that's what i took from the movie it was honestly something like i've never seen before but it's definitely it's definitely going to encourage me to look into therapy i think i'm ready um and it's kind of shown me the importance of that and being able to talk about things and just process and heal so yeah that will be the next step yeah if you guys feel like you're ready to kind of take the next steps in your healing process no matter what you're going through i would 100 percent recommend it but i will give you a warning it is like very intense to watch that will be it for this vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching next up will be moving vlogs i'm literally about to start a new vlog now i am going to start packing i'm terrified but yeah i've arranged movers now as you guys will have seen so gotta get packing three days oh my god i will see you guys all in the next vlog i'm super excited to take you guys on my moving journey and show you the new place thank you so much for watching once again i love y'all i'll see you in the next one bye Mwah.